Hey guys, I'm Eric. You're watching Notes and Nerds, and we're going to be talking about the xCloud gaming service from Microsoft Xbox. Alright, so everybody's already talked about the xCloud gaming service that Microsoft introduced. So this way you pretty much have Xbox everywhere you're at. All you need is an Xbox controller, Xbox One S controller or better, because it's got Bluetooth capability built in. Plus, one of these little goodies. This one's a cheap one from Amazon, so you know, whatever. I'll link, a, uh, for, uh, link one for you in the description, so this way you can get one if you want. But this is basically where your phone goes, and it's got all the little doohickeys. We're not going to review this one, it's kind of a cheap one. I plan on getting a better one here soon. Most because my phone placement of the uh, power button's dumb. So anyway, all this with the phone all attached, which I can't show you with the phone just yet because, well, I'm using it for recording. Gives you the ability to play Xbox everywhere, and that's pretty cool. The service is kind of new; it's still in beta testing. You got to be on the Insiders Club to uh, be able to test it out to find out if you like it. I do not have the actual console streaming service for the phone yet, but I do have xCloud. I do have the ability to stream on my desktop computer at home on my network, and that works great. So I'm happy with that. But this is where it's really at. This is what I'd really love to be able to test it out. But unfortunately, all I got is xCloud, but that's still great. So you have to have about a five gigahertz or better is what they're, or you have to have the five gigahertz capability with your network. It's this way you get the speeds. But I found that I don't have that. Uh, just using the, uh, the standard 4, uh, 4G LTE works fine. Having it on somebody else's network that's just the 2.4 gigahertz level uh, Wi Fi, it works fine. You'll be surprised it works fairly well, regardless of the network, uh, which is actually pretty good, especially when you consider that Google Stadia just completely sucks. So what have I tested with this? I've, I've played games like Bloodstained, I've played uh, uh, Borderlands 3, and I just did a test earlier with Killer Instinct. I'll tell you right now, there are a little, uh, few glitches here now. It's kind of expected. However, it's not terrible. You get a little lag every now and then, maybe some skipped, uh, some skipped uh, frames, but overall, 90% of the time, it's straight smooth gameplay. Uh, my phone is a Motorola G, uh, G5S Plus. It has a small enough screen, so if, even if I was only at 720p, I wouldn't really notice. Uh, so, I mean, it's not bad. You're not going to get 4K. Uh, at least that's not what I'm seeing. I don't see 4K. I might be seeing some 1080p capability on the phone. That's why I get the little glitches. It doesn't seem to have the ability to downsize or downgrade the uh, resolution of the game. So, again, I'm not really sure what resolution I'm seeing it at. But it looks uh, crystal clear, very crisp, very clean. It uh, runs at at least 60 frames per second. So you got that going for you. It's overall a very positive experience. The great thing is, if you already have the Ultimate uh, Xbox La Gold Ultimate, whatever they call it nowadays, <laughs> sorry, uh, if you got that, you're pretty much going to be able to have this. When it goes live, it's a feature you will have. And that in itself is fantastic because you don't have to pay for an extra service. You're not going to have to buy all these extra games to do it. Whatever you got on your Xbox, whatever is available in the uh, game Pass, you're going to have access to it on your device, wherever you're at, for your monthly fee. Big deal. No big deal at all. It makes it worthwhile. Now, I've heard some people using uh, controllers that were not the actual Xbox One S controllers. I can't verify that myself as I only have the Xbox One S controller to use. I will not use the PlayStation 4 controller. Of course, there's an issue with the setup, so it wouldn't be compatible entirely anyway, so, you know. But overall, the experience is good. I enjoy it. There's not a lot of issues for me, personally. I highly recommend it, and giving it a run, there's a lot of games to choose from, a little bit of everything in the genres. 
that are available on Xbox are available on xCloud streaming service right now. It did start off with about three to five games, you know, Gears of War 5, Gears 5, and a couple others. But like I said, it's expanded so much. you got so many games to choose from now. You'd be hard-pressed to find something you didn't like. So go for it. To give it a rating, I would say, quite honestly, this is something that, out of 10, the service overall, because of the limited selection of games, I would give it around an 8. That's actually really high. Because like I said, there is a little bit of everything for everybody. Uh, I cannot rate the console streaming on the phone, but on my computer, it's great. It works fine. I would love to see that on my device here soon. But yeah, uh, with the overall streaming quality, with my device being a Motorola G5 S Plus, which is not a high-end phone, it's a uh, high-end entry-level phone, it works great. Uh, so I give that an eight, maybe nine. Overall, the experience is top notch. I highly recommend it for anybody who's a gamer. If you got an Xbox account, go for it. It's worth it. You'll love it. Do I hope to see this on other services? I would love to see this end up on the Nintendo Switch. If that happens, I'll let you guys know because my son, Adrian, has a Nintendo Switch. And if it happens to hap uh, pop up on there, we're going to get it. We're going to try it and boom, see what happens. And I'll let you guys know. Would I have the opportunity to test this on other devices? I'll go with that. Because I do have some much older uh, devices. Like I have an old Galaxy S, uh, Galaxy Tab uh, 7 inch. I think it's the Galaxy Tab 2. Yeah, that's old. That's really old. It's only on 4.4 uh, right now. And that's the, the highest it'll ever get. I'll test it on there, see how it goes. And I'll give you guys a little uh, update in the comments section if I ever get a chance to try it. Other than that, guys, what do you think about the xCloud gaming service if you already have access to it? Share it in the comments below. Let's have a little discussion and find out what everybody thinks. Is it better than uh, Google Stadia? Yeah. All right, guys, so stay tuned for more here on uh, Notes and Nerds on YouTube and on Facebook. Uh, so if you want to help support the channel, please go to patreon.com slash notes and nerds where you can give a little to get a lot back. And we start off with $1 tiers all the way up to the $50 level. I think it's $50, maybe not, $25 or $50. Either way, it doesn't matter. A little bit goes a long way. If you want to sell, uh, help support us through uh, buying merchandise, go to shop.notesandnerds.com and you can buy cool t-shirts, totes, bags, pillows, whatever. It's all there. And don't forget to subscribe, follow, and like us on all the social medias. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, everything. Notes and nerds. Alright guys, so I'm out of here. Stay tuned.